Okay, folks, here's a game I haven't played in a long time. Now, if you want to know where to get the game, uh, look in the description. Um, but uh, let me see. Location. What's my gear, anyway? Uh, general rules. One real mini equals ten minutes in the game. Oh. One minute. Oh, geez, that's real time. Difficulty. We're going to go expert. Allow hunting guests. Eh, might as well leave that in there. Uh, let's just jump in. I haven't played this in a long time, but it's actually one of the, the best times I've ever had in my life, especially multiplayer. Um, boy, I'm really going to have to do something with this. What are the keys? Uh, okay, left mouse button, use item. Where is... Dr. Prone, mouse right button, call inventory. I'm gonna do tab, tab won't do it. We'll do space to tab. Tab is next. Okay. We're going to do that. Previous item. Tab cannot be used, but yet it was used over here. So, okay. We'll use I. G for just to reset GPS. How do you do scope? Look up, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom in, zoom out. Let me see if I can use my mouse up. Nope, can't use mouse up or down, so all I can do is plus or minus. Change camera. Use mouse and burnt mouse, mouse speed, bullet cam. Okay. Oh shit! Didn't want to do that. Um, how do I get out of this damn thing? Space, okay. Yikes. Enter vehicle. All right, we're just gonna. Ah, ah, ah. Boy, I haven't played this in years. I got really good at this game, actually. But like I said, play. I had so much fun online. People were so nice, you know. And you really had to work hard sometimes in order to get a. Uh, but I got it on ultra settings, and I'm actually went running in window mode using the X win. Okay, there we go. We got time. I did. Until I was messing around with the keys.
pretty amazing that it still plays well um, in Windows 10. That is amazing. All right, so where did I see that deer? It was right over through there, wasn't it? There's me and I cool. All right. Oh, I played this game for hours on hours on hours on hours. I see myself sit in one area, like for I don't know how long, waiting for deer to arrive to to finally come in and hoping to get a shot off. Where'd that deer go? Okay, what do we what do we have here? That's the map, GPS. Which way is the wind going directly in her area too? Big buck scent. Oh yeah, bring it on. Put the old dingy dong on here. There you go. Get the old scent happy out. I'm telling you, in this game, you get punished if you shoot a deer. If you shoot a deer and you do not claim the carcass, you get fined for it. If you shoot a deer while taking a drink of water out of the river, you get fined for it. I mean, it punishes you for doing things that are just plain wrong. And it's as simple as that. And that's the way the game should be. Like the hunter call of the wild should be that way. It really honestly should be that way. It should punish you for doing things that are just simply wrong. It's it just, you know. <clears throat> and I read somewhere that you can still play this online. You can run and dedicate it. It's, uh, now, I haven't really looked into it. But uh, I am going to take a look at that. I, like I said, I used to have a lot of fun. <coughs> the blown call. Your skill set there. Uh, uh. I swear that uh, the deer I spotted was over this way. I'm telling you, um, it's a great game, great for hunting. Especially great when you're playing against other people. It's just because you're always trying to bag the record deer. And, um, and you had like, there were actually leagues created with this for this game. You know, for the best hunters of the group, and they were always competing with turkey, um, all kinds of great stuff. People still play today. If you type in Deer Hunter 2005 on YouTube and go into filters and you put it to like a w one week, people are still playing this. And they're enjoying themselves immensely. And even back then, I found I found this game really atmospheric. I mean, back then, you know, 2005, with the computer systems that we had, well, that, that we had, <clears throat> that uh, 
you know, to run this full out on Ultra, boy, you needed a decent system. You really did need a decent system. But this is, you know, this brings back so many memories of when I used to really play these sort of games. Like I said, if you wanted to revisit the game, just look in my description. Um, it's called My Abandonware. It's where games have been abandoned. You can usually find them by going to his site. Um, it's only abandoned where games. You can't really buy these games anymore unless you go to eBay. I damn good if I go to eBay and pay. You know, I mean, there are games out there that that are only sold on eBay now. You know, because they've been abandoned, and they the prices they charge. There's one game that has not been interested for a long time. They're asking ninety nine dollars for it. Like, would I? I would never play or pay that kind of money. For anything, sorry, and that's like for a used copy that could be scratched right to hell. Forget that, man. That's just not gonna happen. <clears throat> no way. So is it legal? Don't know. It's been abandoned. No one owns the rights to it anymore. The company that, uh, you know, they no longer sell it. And there we go. I could take a duck out. Not gonna happen. Oh, that I just saw. Sometimes you only see like a pixel, but you know it's out of place and it moves. You know you got something. Well, apparently I don't. No. Like I said, I haven't set the ultra settings. So. And as you level up your skills, you get better at tracking, finding locations. That sort of thing. You have ATVs, you have horses to ride. It's funny, look, look at how the water is. People today still play this on a regular basis. And I mean, when you really get into it, you know, and, and when you start bagging those, you know, record bucks, and, you know, I mean, just incredible. And the amount of maps, there's quite a few maps in the game too, so, you know. Competing against other people, it just keeps driving you further and further and further along. Trying to get those record bucks so you can be top of the, be you know called the top hunter sort of thing. And that's why I play the hunter Call of the Wild because actually it was year 2005. This game right here that got me interested in. And the Hunter Call of the Wild. When I saw it, all the other ones that were out there were just garbage games. They were just horrible. And I played a lot of them, and it's like, that's just horrible. You know?
Of course, I'm not hunting properly because I'm standing up, walking around, and, you know, making all kinds of noise and stuff. But you know how that be. Sometimes you stumble across one, like. <clears throat> but like I said, this game punishes you. Um, you know, for doing, you know, things while hunting. That is just, you know, you should not be doing. Like, taking shots at animals, either drinking out of the uh, river. And shooting and killing an animal, but not, uh, but not collecting the animal itself. It's like, you know, tagging the animals. You know, you get punished for those things. And the hunter call of the wild doesn't punish you. It's, it's almost like, you know... Even if you pull in something that's not right, they'll still reward you for it, and that's why it was quite sad. I don't know what time of day it is. What is it? Oh, it's one in the afternoon. Okay. Might have something right there. Don't know yet, not until I take a look at it. Oh, bloody heck, it was a twig. A branch sticking out of it. I can actually see it that far away. Kind of looks like an antler in a way, I don't know. And there are also seasons in the game, you know, you can you go rut, post rut, stuff like that. <clears throat> the deer act totally, totally uh, different, depending on the season. And, um,. Like I said, I mean, if you want to find out where you can get the game, I'll get, just look in the description, you can download it. If you do grab it, it's Nizo, and also grab the patch that, uh, that's right below the main download. Link for it. All right, let's, <clears throat> this time in the afternoon, they're usually hugging inside the, uh, they're hugging in, the, well, they're in force sort of thing, right? That little deer I saw, it, it totally disappeared on me. Maybe it caught wind of me, because the deer in this game react very, you know, th they're realistic in fact. I mean, before the time, you know, for the, <clears throat> back in 2005, it was one of the, uh, and it's still, you know, it's really odd, but Deer, to, deer Hunter 2005 is still classified as one of the best hunting games made. It's not like games today where, you know, they don't want to offend anybody and hurt their feelings because they're not being rewarded, so they'll reward them for anything. You know, it's like kids in school today. Back back when I was a kid in school, man, you had to work for your shit. I don't know how many times I had. I've gone up in front of front and have a strap for the front of my hand. But, um, oh, there, that, 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 got a whiff of me. Or heard me, actually, not a whiff. But now I've seen where he's going to. Can't even choose the right rifle. Oh, got a bunny rabbit. Oh, I hit him in the, right in a good area. Right, right behind the left leg. Right into the main organ. Okay, so I'm right there. Now mind you, shooting an animal in this game doesn't affect me at all the way it does in the hunter. There it is. Seventy pound. That's a dope. I'd, I should never even taken that shot for something like that. Sorry, but uh, <clears throat> but the uh, 
This game can be quite hard to play. It really can. Um, sometimes you can walk right into an area, you know, that's full of buck. You know, six, eight pointers. You know, I mean, it, you look at them and go, oh my God, I got an eight pointer. You know, and sometimes you really have to track. Sometimes you, you don't get an in, you, you don't uh, get a, a kill off the bat. So your tracking skills become very important. Let's go back to, let's stop hunting. And you'll see that um, here are my skill sets right now. Now I can delete my profile here and start out new sort of thing. Uh, if, if you go into a movie, you can also record your your hunts. There's my little doe. See, now I should never have shot that little fella. Or that little lady, I mean. You know, should never have done that. Because it was stupid. It was just really, really stupid. It gives me the weight 70 pounds. I mean, come on. You know. But anyway, it kind of angers me because of me doing that. But uh, as far as online, of course, you're not going to have anything online. But like I said, there's a there's a workaround for it. There, it, I, I don't know how the workaround works, but I'm going to look into that, like I said. And the rules are... Okay, difficulty there. Those are the rules for that. One real minute, 30 minutes in a game. What? Five minutes in game, okay. And to play. That's my gear. I have a shelter. I have a little horsey. You can also change that to ATV, I believe, too, as well. We'll swap weapons there. Um, choose location. We've got Australia, Black Horse, Georgia. The one I always enjoyed working on is um, where the heck is it? I enjoyed the Black Forest. You can also add custom maps, but some of those I stay away from that because years and years and years ago when I had the game. I went ahead and I downloaded the sites I used to visit. I downloaded one and infected my entire system, so I don't go near that anymore. Even if I do decide to uh, Yeah. And you can go pre rut, post rut. The weather, stuff like that. But all in all, I mean, you can have fun with this, and, and it really can be fun to play. Okay, folks, there you go. I just thought I'd bring this to you. Bye for now.